Good morning, this is Judy from Artistic Artifacts in Alexandria, Virginia, and it is Saturday for our Saturday Facebook Live. Now, I know we've really been um, promoting our Indian Bazaar because it really is quite exciting for us as well as you, we hope. Um, and we're going to give you a little bit of a tour of the back room um, in case you missed that and weren't part of our um, live sale. So our Indian Bazaar weekend started with our live sale on Thursday evening, which is done through our app. So it's a selling app. You go to the app store, download Artistic Artifacts app, and then you can shop. You can still do that at this point in time where you can still shop and do it. So, you know, you can buy after the live, you can buy during the live, it's there and it's available for you. If there's inventory, please purchase it. So that was going on. Now we also have um, our date with Scott Fortunoff of Jaff Tex Industries. And he is gonna come in May, the first week in May. We'll have more details about that. And the Creative Summit is the classes are up and we are booking registrations for that event. So um, please, I know you've been patient and waited for that. We have it up, it's all scheduled. And um, so the way it's gonna run is there's classes on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You may take one, you may take three. Um, you can only take one per day. We're giving you four options on Friday and Saturday and two options on Sunday. So hopefully you'll be able to join us with that. If you have any questions, there is a contact form on our website. And then there is also email sales at artisticartifacts.com. And uh, for the moment, everything seems to be working. The phones are ringing, the emails are arriving. It all seems to be pretty good. Um, so those are kind of some of the quick updates. We do have a jams meeting tomorrow, which is Judy Dalter Mind at 1.30. So about two o'clock, we're gonna do a Zoom and in-person hybrid lecture about my Indian showing me you my uh, India pictures and talking about where I was. And uh, the Zoom information is on our Facebook page and in our last newsletter. So Artistic Artifacts Creative Minds will have the link to be able to participate in the Zoom. So this is our first time. I know many of you have been doing hybrid since the end of the pandemic, the end, um, or when we were allowed out in, in, uh, in the world again. So there's, um, but this is our first one, just, just be aware. <laughs> so um, are there any questions this morning, Kyle? No. Nope. Um, Jen said, nice vest. June can't wait to get her goodie. She ordered Thursday. Great, Got some great. Uh, Thanks. Good mornings. One from Sue Carroll. Good morning. I am doing coffee today. This is, this is definitely a coffee day. As opposed to you don't do coffee other days? No, I normally don't drink coffee on the air. <laughs> but I definitely drink coffee every day. So... Um, can somebody go get the back door, please? Um, sorry, the buzzer went off. We couldn't, it's, it's, it's a trained hearing exercise. So before we get into a tour of the bazaar, um, I do have my vest on because we got a shipment last night. This is not exactly the same fabric, but it's similar. So we'll, we'll add these to the bazaar today. Um, once I'm finished with my comment sold and I mean what am I doing that was Thursday my Facebook live see I really do need coffee um, so we do have some new product that we're adding so if you can come back if you were here yesterday you'll see some new stuff but one of the things I want to show you that um, happened when I went to India and spent um, about four days in Jaipur with the family that I've been doing business with for probably about 10 years now. They had been working on blanks because that, they're the people that I buy the wood blocks from. So it was like, okay, so we need blanks to be able to do wood blocks. So the easiest ones are these scarves. So this is 100% cotton. And 
and it's uh, woven, um, nice surface. I did block print one of these, but of course I can't find it at the moment. Um, so we have those for sale. And right now they're in comments sold. We haven't gotten them up on the website yet, but they will be added. And then this is gauzy, and I um, both of these I dyed was indigo when I was in India. Um, so I know the scarves are around here someplace. We'll post them on Facebook and Instagram when I find them again. So they come packaged one per package, and either choice is $9.99 and I think that they'll work out really nicely. Um, we do a lot of dye classes, it's perfect for the dye classes, and um, not as expensive as good quality silk. All right, the other thing we received, which again goes for dye classing and block printing, is we have these white canvas napkins. So there's a set of five, because of course you always lose one, so really the set is for four and the fifth is just an extra one. You're laughing again, Kyle. Uh, <coughs> Jen tucked the scarves away so no one would buy them. Now she can't remember where she put them. <laughs> okay, well, usually she was putting stuff in my office. She had to go around the place yesterday and go, okay, this is Judy's office. Oh, she left this here, this is office. And of course I've lost my coffee cup again, my owl coffee cup, but I got a different one. So yes, I'm sorry, that's part of tasks. <laughs> it was on top of the coffee machine yesterday. Oh, well, maybe it's there again, and I just didn't have enough coffee. Um, so anyway, we'll show you those. They, they, I, I really like that, and hope we're, we're looking at trying to get another woodblock class uh, on the schedule. Maybe, hopefully, in March, if Sharon has her way, and we'll, we'll have these blanks available for you. But anyway, I decided, okay, well, it's really nice to show you on white, but let's show you something that I did. So this morning, I decided I was going to cut my foam mat to put it inside the zipper. And um, so I very quickly, as you can see, I got it all over the place. This was pretty fast and furious. And, and I love acrylic paint because it dries really fast. And so I did my background just this morning. It's not like it went for hours. And then I was able to do some block printing. So how I did it, and, and you can see I have color variations. If you want to have same color, you could do your color mixing on your palette, which is a, a fancy term for paper plate. And, um, or you can do it like what I did, which was, let's see, all our class paint gets a little clogged up, so I'm sure you're much neater with your paint than I am. Very messy. And this is um, a fluid paint, so it's not as thick as these. These are a little bit thicker. Um, Leslie, I see you logging on. I better see you here today. <laughs> I let you off because you were working yesterday. <laughs> All right. So what I did was I just took my hand. And as I said, there's two options. If I wanted a really clear green and I didn't want this type of look, I could mix my colors right here. But that's not normally how I do things. And um, so what if we do a little bit of mixing and then we add it. So I'm at this point this morning and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should add some water and make it a little more fluid. And I decided because it is a canvas that that's possible, but I didn't want too much water involved in it because I didn't want it to soak through to the lining. So persistence prevails, and I just kept going. So I have a little bit of blue, and, and actually what I really liked is the yellow kind of brightened it up. So I 
could get it going with some of the in the and you can see what it does the yellow just really kind of blended it together and you just keep going maybe I want a little stripe of blue in there and all I'm using is this really fancy handy dandy sponge you know all my tools are top-notch here and it, if I keep rubbing because I did want kind of a smooth surface I can get that so um, I just can let it dry if I want to do more, which I would definitely want to cover my edges, the only thing I would tell you is watch your, um, see how I'm doing this motion instead of this motion, because you can see it's a heavy canvas, so it's not like doing it onto a uh, muslin. This is definitely heavy. And there. All right, so I would let this dry. If I don't like the color, I just put another color over it. So then I could block print it once it's dry. And as I said, acrylic paint dries very quickly. So that's just kind of a quick and dirty way of using these blanks that are available to you. So this is fully lined with a really nice zipper and these are $9.99. And we do have some that are indigo covered already for you, so you don't have to decorate them. And I'm sure you guys can come up with other ways of how to embellish these. In my head, I'm like, hmm, I bet you we could put paper on here with some soft gel, or we could put more paint. So we just they just came in. I haven't had a real a lot of time to play with them, but I know that there's limitless possibilities. And a great gift. If you want to use it for that. Yes. And are they available individually or in kits? Um, we had them in kits on comments sold. Um, if they're not on the app, so we say comments sold is the live sale app, but you can always shop after the live sale. So it's on the app, I think, as a kit. Um, I know Jen and I talked about doing them as if individual items. If they're not there yet they will be and we will have them on the um, website at, at a point in time where we get our heads attached um, this is going to be a product line that we're going to investigate and do a little bit more with because the embroidery blanks are very you know these could all be used with the exception of maybe the bag could be used with embroidery so um, whether it's painting or embroidery or your mixed media supplies, we're going to do that. We're also going to have um, aprons. So these are canvas. They come like this. So again, it's another blank surface that you can use to do what you want with it. So that's coming as well. So. Um, when you're in India, they do give you the opportunity. We went into factories, so to speak, which are rooms with lots of printing tables. And so this was a, um, just a test, a trial. I did an apron as well as um, this piece of fabric. Let's see, did I bring the apron out? Yeah. So um, here's the apron that I did. So we got to try any wood blocks we wanted and any pattern and you notice I really like the sun and that's um, what we did. So that that's the blanks are coming. They will continue to be available. Um, and as I said, it'll be a growing category for us. Um, this one I dyed. So I took this one in our dye class and stuffed it in and probably will wood block on it at some point in time. All right. So we did get more wood blocks in. We did, um, and we've got some singles and we had some small blocks. 
like we got little bit little ones a couple of these um uh snowflakes trees and circles so we went for the what we call the mini boxes we did go for um you can see some there's new boxes here new blocks here he's gonna turn around and get you no he's not <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then there's more over here. So we did add right now the blocks that are available are on common soul. They're not on the website yet. Uh, we have really been working hard to, to get as much stuff up there as we can. So um, it's all for this in-store event. So we'll catch up with you guys who are not local as soon as we possibly can. All right. So now we're going to take you into the bazaar area, which I just cracks me up using that word. Yeah, we are considered kind of bizarre, but this <laughs> really is an Indian bazaar. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Are you ready? We're coming in. Hi. Hi. This is Michelle. Hi, Michelle everybody. Helps us in the store. And we're showing everybody, Kathy snuck out because she doesn't want to be on TV. Um, so this is our back room, which sometimes operates as our classroom and sometimes as our sorting room. So we have a, a lot of new fabrics. We have some art here that's for sale. Um, we have made some uh, bedspreads. They're very, very large. Uh, Kyle and I did a really short video to show you how big they are and they come with pillow shams. So those are available in five colors. Um, some handmade jewelry rugs, which we brought back. That was the village that I was on TV in India. So that's here. We went to several weaving areas. So we brought back some actually very, very unique yardage. That's here. Um, trims. There's a museum, a fan that was started by a family at Sinoki Museum. They have some publications that I was able to find, so I have a limited quantity of these books. We again did a um, flip video, Kyle and I did, but what is, it's wonderful and it has samples that are here. I mean, these are really fantastic books. Um, we have some pillow covers. Of course, we have sari silk. We have lots and lots, and we have lots of possibilities coming with some new products with them as well. And then we have the block printed products. So these, they call them bed covers. I call them tablecloths. They're really great. They're cotton. Um, these are all done with natural dyes. This was with a block printer near Bhopal, India. And then we have a rounder of silk and cottons and shawls and scarves that are just, we've, we've had a hard time finding the product um, that we felt was good quality. Um, we used to get them from Indonesia, but now we have a great assortment. A lot of shandiri, which is a silk and cotton weave with some metallic down the sides. We were in, everything when, that I bought, we were in the studios of the people who were creating it. So we were able to meet the craftsmen and we were able to purchase from them directly. So it was quite exciting. This is artwork that was, it's considered tribal artwork. And it was a, in Delhi that we bought it, but it was from a village near Nepal. And these are absolutely amazing. They're signed, there's initials on the back. Um, I think that, you know, it goes from young age to very old. There's, it's all on paper that's created from cotton rag. And um, it's very, very unique and beautiful. I mean, there's every bit of that paper is covered. Um, some embroideries. This is a new bag. So this looks from, it's the same style as the white one but we've done some indigo with it and we have some hand stitched ones, some embroidery pieces, trims, sari. We have a great collection of cotton 
rag papers. So we have some new paper boxes. So the paper boxes are covered with this rag, um, cotton, they rag, they pulp it, and then they create these papers. So all of these papers are really unique. They're wonderful, they hold, um, I like Strathmore mixed media papers, but I love these. They're wonderful, they hold up, they're sturdy. Fabrics, saris, Indian cottons. So there's two types of cottons that we have that are um, hand dyed in fat quarter bundles. And the two thicknesses. We have a couple of teachers around the country that like those fabrics and have used them. Then we have more wood blocks. These are the bigger kits that we've had. And then we try something new, which is taking, I'm talking faster than, <laughs> no, I have a tendency to do that, don't I? No comment. Yeah, okay. So these are wood blocks that are carved to hold a votive candle. So these are battery operated candles, but I can assure you that, you know, I'm probably going to try and print with this. I like the fact you could put a face in there, a beautiful little trim. So that's wonderful. And then we had some trinkets to kind of, this is a lotus. We saw lotuses in marble and it's a little hand carved lotus bowl and it's wood and Kyle's laughing again. Diane, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's Diane, she's gonna get her. Okay, and then these are my helping hands that were carved. So um, these are new products. These are only on comment sold at the moment. Um, and that's a quick run through. You got questions? Yeah, um, the indigo pieces. Um, those Are they available? Um, not available at the moment. So what we're probably what the plan is, I say probably, but what the plan is is we have these um, bundles that we cut with an assortment of the Indian fabrics. So because there's not very much yardage of these, we probably will cut them in half yards, one yard pieces and bundle them and have them available for purchase. We, but we do have, um, lots of other indigo pieces. If you look against this wall here, there's some indigo here. So, some in this basket. In the yep. back there, it's kind of hard to see. I know. So, these are all here. These are in addition to what we actually have had in the store already, and there is more indigo there. We have this new fabric that I think is pretty cool and it's like what my vest is made out of. So it's cotton and it's thin, but it has this texture of stitching in it that, that is there. And that's what we, so we have many colors of this. And our, my vest is, is made with that fabric. So you can see the stitching as well as the block printing. That's what our weekend is, and this is, we hope if you're local and in the area that you can come and see us today or tomorrow. Um, we will be opening at 1.30ish, 1 o'clock-ish, between 1, okay, I'll be here at 1, um, for the jams meeting. Uh, if you have a folding chair in your car, please bring it with you, because I think we're going to run out of chairs and we will have the store open and then we will give, be giving the lecture upstairs. Um, and then more to come. We just keep filling the calendar up and, and hope that we're keeping you challenged in creativity. And we appreciate your loyalty and support. So are there any questions, Kyle? Uh, no, just uh, somebody wanting a half yard bundle of all the indigo. So <laughs> yeah, we, we, we will definitely do that. I think that that's the best way because we get little, sometimes little pieces and um, that's, we, we will have that in the process. So watch for it either in the newsletter. So make sure that you're getting the newsletter and that will be there. All right. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for letting me show you our products and, and know that there's we can always buy more and there's more ideas and different things coming, so stay tuned.